We welcome Ryan Gregson to XCR15 at Gels Park. Um, it's good to be here. It's my first uh, race with you guys and it was a lot of fun. How'd you find the course today? You're, you've been on a mountain running uh, team before for Australia. In fact, I think that was your first ever Australian team. So the hills today at Gels Park didn't worry you? You've done your research. Yeah, that was my first Australian team back in 2006. Went to the World Mountain Running Championships. Um, but hills, I'd, I'd say they're definitely not my strong point. Um, so today it was literally up or down. So there's pretty much no flat. And um, I went probably a bit too hard at the start, but you probably can go a bit hard today because there's so many downhill sections you can recover again and then push up the hard and recover again. So it was uh, it worked out well. I did a pretty quick pretty quick split. Now you took over from the legendary Steve Montagetti today. How did that feel? Um, there was a bit of talk throughout the week whether he's going to run in ours in the um, our division or the the vets. But uh, I'm glad uh, we're able to win with him because he's a 52 year old and he's an absolute legend of the sport and it's pretty special. You know, it had been a team um, with Steve Monaghetti and he's still winning state titles. It's, it was a lot of fun. So this is your first XCR event. Uh, what was the general view of the way uh, these events run off and uh, the crowd, the, the numbers, the, all the divisions? Is it a little bit different to New South Wales? Yeah, I've, I grew up in New South Wales um, doing all the events up there and it, it, is, it is great up there, but the atmosphere is just so different here. The numbers and depth is just yeah, double, triple down here. So um, all the way around the 3K loop, you know, there's people all the way cheering you on. And because um, we're out, uh, I was out in the lead, literally every 10 metres I had another person to try to pick up that I was laughing. And uh, it actually kind of like lots of little goals along the way. Even though I was out the front, I could kind of just pick people off the whole way and yeah, it made it, made it a lot easier for me. Now moving forward from this, you've got the Bahamas very soon, haven't you? Yeah, that was a fun trip last year. Uh, we came fourth in the 4x8 and fourth in the 4x15, so just missed medals last time. Uh, this year it's a 4x8. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm running that one, but I'm definitely running the, uh, the DMR, the distance medley relay on the Sunday. And uh, yeah, we've got pretty strong teams again. Um, Australia, even though I guess the last few years we haven't been around the medals at the World Champs and Olympics, we've actually got pretty good depth in distance running. So. And that's, that's why we do so well. That's why we got two fourth places last year. So hopefully, you know, we get around there again and who knows, maybe scrape a bronze medal. Now, leading on from that, you'll be spending some time in the States in, your, in order to try and qualify for Beijing. What's the aims there? Um, I'll, do a couple, I'll do a mile race, the Prefontaine Classic, and then go to Europe and do a mile race in, in Oslo at the Diamond League there. And this year, you can qualify off a mile. So it's about 3.53.5, which is about equivalent to that 3.36.2. I ran well in Sydney, 3.36.5. So it's uh, one of the quickest I've ever run this early in the season. So usually I just kind of get better and better. But then hopefully by July, I'll be really hitting my straps. And I'm, today showed that um, I'm strong. So hopefully just keep moving forward, no injuries, and I'll be, I'll be OK. You're just getting on to that, and I don't want to put the moz on you, but you've certainly had a nice little run now of injury-free time, and do you think you'll be benefiting from that as the months roll on? Yeah, definitely. I, uh, it's probably taking me a bit longer to try to get to, get to this level because I'm running a lot less. I'm running about 110 to 120K. When I was younger, I was running a lot more, but uh, you know, I had pretty much five years of lots of injuries there where I was, I could, I was probably cross training more than I was actually running. So now I've had about four months um, injury free and running at a nice level that it's not an incredible amount of training but it seems to be achievable and I've been able to be pretty consistent so hopefully just keep going like that and by the end of August when you know World Champs rolls around I'm still in, I'm still healthy and big, big aim is to try to make the final and that's what I haven't done yet but um, that's my, my number one goal for this season and I think I'll be able to do it. And certainly we looked forward to 2016 in Rio. Um, have you been practising the samba? <laughs> I've, um, I've done a bit of dancing in post-race celebrations sometimes, but it's no good, so I think I should stick away from dancing. Leave it to Brett Robinson. Ryan Gregson, thanks so much. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for having me.